Hey friends, oh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. If you are new here, I love to upcycle thrifted finds, do furniture flips, and keep you updated on my vendor booth. This summer has been a little different. I am an introverted heart, and I have been with all three of my kiddos all summer long. And yesterday, I put out a reel kind of joking that I'm all by myself, I don't know what to do, but really the truth is I didn't know what to do first. I was excited to work on this DIY thrift flip video for you guys this week. Get my creativity going again. Oh, it felt so good to get paint on my hands. If you want to see what I did in this week's video, stick around. For the first project, I went to my booth the other day and kind of looked around at the stuff that wasn't selling. This was in there. And to be honest, I don't love the tone of it, but that's a quick fix. So I got out my DIY paint in the color black velvet. I will be using this color throughout the video today. And honestly, just did one solid coat. I found that on baskets and some metals, one coat is, is just enough. Um, this paint is so heavily pigmented that you get amazing coverage. Now I'm just taking a wet wipe and going through some of the basket areas because I want it to have that two-tone look. I just wanted to tone down that orangey basket color. After I did all the wet distressing that I wanted, I did go over this with Big Top. I didn't mind a little bit of a sheen because it is a basket and I'm really happy with how the tone of this whole thing changed and how it could really fit in with someone that has a darker color palette in their home. So I was looking around and trying to figure out other items to paint black. I found these metal sconces. Guys, I don't even know where I got them. I'm sure someone gave them to me because I'm not a super fan of metal sconces. So I don't think I would have bought them, but I did two coats of, actually I only did one coat of black velvet and then I covered it with Big Top and I did a little of the dark wax over it too, just to have a little bit of that tone. And after I was looking at them, I'm like, you know what? Who's gonna use this for a candle anymore? Do I have any wood products that I could put on top of the sconce space? So I found these wooden bowls that I thrifted way too long ago. I was gonna try and do them upside down, but it wouldn't quite work that way. So I glued them in upright I did E6000 because that is what I found for metal to be one of the best adhesives. High temperature hot glue for the instant hold so that the E6000 could go into effect. And I thought these would be really cute for, I don't know, like a little potted plant hanging on a wall. How cute would that be? have never sold any mirrors in my booth. And so I started looking for some at the thrift store and I found this plasticky scraped up one for $8, but it was a gorgeous oval shape. So I went over this one because it was plastic, two solid coats. I was gonna let it distress just a little bit because I didn't, I don't like things too precious but I went over it with two solid coats of the DIY paint. I'm using my favorite DIY paintbrush, the Perfectionist. Oh, guys, I love this one. And 
I found that it is super easy to get this paint off of the mirror so I didn't have to be super precious with my painting either, which is how I prefer it. For this one, I only top coated it with dark wax. I could have used black wax as well. This is just what I happen to have, but it gave it that nice rich tone. I ended up going over it with two coats of the wax and then buffing it out with just a rag and having a slight little sheen to it and boy this sure did update this really quickly what do you guys think of this have you guys had much luck selling mirrors i'm pretty sure this is going to go fast in my booth This next project is a galvanized tear tray that my thrift fairy Jenny gave me a while back. And I've been meaning to bring it to my booth, but I did not want to just do galvanized. So I am going over it with two solid coats of black velvet, going for that darker, moody, academia slash let's get ready for cozy fall vibes look. So I decided to go ahead and distress it a little bit. I wanted some of the metal to kind of come through. Again, so after I, I did this, I went over the whole like project things. with Big Top and I did put it in a separate container because because this paint can be reactivated, sometimes when you redip your brush in, you can get some of that color in there. And I did not want my big top to have any black in it. So I just poured it in a separate container, went over it with one coat of big top. The good thing about big top, here's what I like about big top. It cures quickly. I can finish things, get it in my booth and not worry about it. But because this is something that you're setting stuff in, I wanted the look of wax, but without having to wait for wax, if that makes sense. You do have to wait a little bit longer for wax to cure. So the top part, I went ahead and put dark wax over the top of Big Top so that I could kind of get both. So I have the protection of Big Top and then I went over it and adding, added this dark wax, which has a brown tint to it. So it really does add this nice, tone to the black and then kind of buffed it in and oh, look at that that is gorgeous why didn't i do this sooner And then last but certainly not least is this wooden box case that I got for $5 at the thrift store. Guys, I just swooped this up. Now it is missing this little spot right here of wood. So I put this question out on my social media places. Some people were like, just turn the case over and forget about it but I really wanted to paint it. I, I know there's like an orange tone to this wood. Someone did suggest using white wax, which probably would have corrected that a bit, but I sell paint. So let's paint it. And let me know in the comments below if you think I ruined it or if I made it look even more special. Someone else suggested that I cover this with some air dry clay so i went ahead and did that i just made sure i got the right amount of clay did use some tight bond glue glued it down let it dry almost completely before i started any of the painting process and it wasn't supposed to be exactly um, i'll show you in the end where it is so you can kind of see that it's still where the injured piece was 
but I am glad I added this little piece right here because I think it made it look less obvious. Going over it again with black velvet and my gorgeous DIY paintbrush. This got in all the little nooks and crannies. Now I'm only doing one coat on this case. Here's the thing I like about this DIY paint. It can be wet distressed, reactivated when it is wet. So with one coat of this paint over this wood and I use a super wet baby wipe, I can get a good portion of it off. Like I would not have been able to sand it this way. So being able to wet distress it can almost make it look like it was a paint wash and I'm just loving that look. Now, if I went over this with dark wax to seal it, I was fearful that I would muddy up the spaces where the wood was coming through. So I went ahead and took out some clear wax, used a chip brush um, to get in all the nooks and crannies. I did not want to get any of my brushes ruined by putting it in all those like wooden spots. So I just went over the whole thing with clear wax so that the wood would come through. The black would be so much richer. And guys, this is so beautiful. Now, for this video, I did not do anything to the insides, but maybe in an upcoming reel, I will do some type of a decoupage paper or something on the inside to make it even that much more special. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for that, and I will work on that project later. All right, guys, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? My favorite was definitely that wooden case that kind of inspired the use of the color this week anyway. I went out on my social media platforms on, a, on Reels and asked what color I should paint it, and the overwhelming color was, I forgot the name of it. And the overwhelming color was black velvet from DIY paint. And I just ended up going around saying, what else can I paint black? I am not quite ready to do pumpkins just yet. I know it is right around the corner, but using a darker color is gonna help me get into that fall mood, get some darker colors in my booth so that I can sprinkle some literal pumpkins in there and just have a nice backdrop for my vignettes. My girls started school yesterday. My oldest is in eighth grade. My middle just started middle school in sixth grade. 
and my baby who just turned nine. <sighs> She's nine. That's crazy. Um, started third grade yesterday. So I am excited that they are back in school. Um, to all those that, that um, homeschool out there, good on you. For this mama, um, this is a way for me to separate, do my creative stuff and love on them when they get home. Um, I'm excited about what the school year is going to bring and I'm excited about what this next year is going to bring for my, my, me and my business. Um, my booth is doing well. I didn't pay much attention to it this summer, but I had it completely. I had moved from two booths into one big booth, had it so packed that all I had to do was kind of make sure my ring inventory, my sticker inventory, and my paint inventory was all up to date and the sales just kept rolling in. I'm going to put some more effort into that this fall because I know this is a time where it can go really well. So that is my plan and I'm excited to put more of myself into this channel and show you how creativity just really feeds my soul. Guys, I hope that as your kids are going back to school or grandkids or even you just get into this fall season, you remember to be creative, feed your own soul. If you sell it, cool but take care of yourself. Okay guys, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to this channel, hitting that notification bell to all so you get updated every time I upload a new video. If you liked it, I would love a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoy this video and leave me a comment below about your favorite project for today or anything else you wanna talk about. I love reading for all, through all the comments and now that the girls are gone i hope to be able to respond to all the comments that i have not yet responded to so guys thank you so much for being here and i will see you in next week's video bye